Hi, my name is Chris Lee, and I'm the head of Game Tech Services here at AWS. And I just want to say it's great to be here in person after so many years of us being apart uh, with the Korean game development community. So today I'm going to talk about just a couple things. Uh, I'm going to talk about who we are in AWS, that are the people behind AWS for games. And then we're going to jump into some of the services that we're building in AWS specifically for game developers. So AWS for Games is a team of people in AWS that are on a mission to help every game developer leverage the power of the cloud for their games. We have more than a decade of experience, and we can use the more than 200 AWS services to help game developers build the perfect solution for their games. And we work with some of the biggest game developers in the world, like Nexon, Riot Games, and Epic Games. And we have four primary ways that we like to engage with developers. The first is our solution architects. They're the backbone of what we do in AWS. They're experts in cloud services that can work with you to help find the perfect solution for your game and provide solution guidance if you're looking for help to figure out how to architect the perfect solution. We also have AWS professional services. This is a team of folks in AWS that also have cloud service expertise. You can work with them to build a full end-to-end -end solution. We have a ton of onboarding programs that we like to supply to game developers if you want to learn how to build cloud services yourself and make your own backend. And we have the AWS Marketplace, which has uh, solutions that are offered from the AWS Partner Network. Uh, if you just want to find something quickly to be able to uh, find a solution that's ready to go and use it for your game. So no matter where you are on the spectrum, from someone who wants to build their own solution using compute like EC2 or storage like S3, uh, or if you're a buyer that wants to go to the AWS marketplace and purchase a solution that's ready to go for your games, we have the solution for you, and we're here to help. As Juan mentioned earlier, that we developed the AWS for Games Solution Framework to help developers with a problem that we hear from a lot of folks, which is, with all the choice and capability on AWS, where do I get started? This solution framework is based around three key development phases we talk to developers about. The first phase is the build phase, when you're still in production, you're making your game and finding the fun. The second phase is the run phase, and this is right when you're starting to launch your title and, and start operating in production at scale. And the last phase that we talk to folks about a lot is the grow phase. This is when you have your game running, you're running at scale, but you need to find ways to drive better engagement with your players and operate your game um, to drive better monetization or engagement. Inside of these phases, we are focused on six key solution areas. These are the areas that customers ask us about the most. The first is cloud game production. Uh, this is become very important with the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. We see a lot of developers wanting to be able to connect their teams around the world and work in a much different uh, distributed fashion than we did before. In the run phase, we have game servers and game security, critical elements for operating your game. In the grow phase, we talk to folks about live operations, game analytics, and AI and ML for games. Today, I'm going to go into more detail on the services that we're building inside of AWS and some of the solutions we're providing to developers today. Let's get started in the build phase, and let's talk about Amazon GameSparks. Amazon GameSparks is a fully managed backend as a service that allows game developers to quickly and easily create, manage, and scale backend service features for your game with no service expertise required. We launched Amazon GameSparks earlier this year into private preview at the Game Developer Conference, and we released with eight um, features in that preview. I want to highlight three of them today. Uh, the first is Cloud Code. This is a development environment directly in the AWS console that allows you to customize and build your own game backend features. Uh, we've also integrated with AWS Lambda. And Lambda will allow developers to invoke a, a Lambda and access the full power of the AWS cloud. 
You can get to any of the other 200 services that you'd like to use for your game. And the last feature is the test harness. Uh, the test harness allows developers to quickly iterate and test game service features as you're implementing them directly from the AWS console. This can reduce iteration time on service features from hours down to seconds. There are a lot of benefits that AWS GameSparks can provide, but the three benefits I want to highlight most today are one, it's easy to use. If you don't have service expertise or you're a small uh, studio that doesn't want to focus on infrastructure, it's easy to get up and running quickly. It's integrated with all the power of AWS via uh, AWS Lambda integrations natively. And the iteration speed that you get with GameSparks can really help you focus more on what makes your game fun and iterate on these service features quickly so that you don't have to worry, spend your time worrying about infrastructure. So if you're interested in uh, signing up for the public preview and checking out Amazon GameSparks, we're running the public preview still today. During the public preview period, there's no charge for usage. And it's easy to get started um, just by coming to our website at aws.amazon.com slash GameSparks. We love to hear from developers feedback about our services, what you like about Amazon GameSparks, but more importantly, what we could be doing better with our service to help serve you um, in the game development community. For developers who are interested in building their own backend, no matter how big your studio is, um, we like to share stories about other customers that have completed their cloud, uh, cloud journey to the cloud. So if you'd like to learn more about um, how Coppola Games, which is a 15-person studio, uh, transitioned to the cloud for nonstop nights to uh, you can check out this QR code in the top right-hand corner, uh, or I'll provide a, the link to the website at the end of my talk so you can look it up. The next topic in build is cloud game development. Developers today really want to be able to build uh, and connect remote teams around the world. And AWS has the most extensive secure and reliable infrastructure of any cloud service provider. This will allow game developers to connect their teams uh, if you want to connect people who are distributed around the world, or if you want to build and deploy games with single digit second latency, uh, you'll be able to do that. And AWS provides the infrastructure that you need, when you need it, where you need it around the world. When we think about cloud game development, we think about the full game production lifecycle. This is from early planning for your game when you're in the concept phase, all the way through post-production. And this can include everything that you need to build your game, from workstations, version control systems, all the way to the network and security that makes sure that your game and your studio is safe while you're doing this remote production. One service that we're working on inside of AWS is called Amazon Nimble Studio. This service allows you to easily build and operate a cloud-based game production studio. And it was originally created for helping creatives in the animation and VFX industry for film. This service provides access to 3D um, accelerated GPU workstations, cloud rendering, and shared storage for your teams around the world. This also acts, uh, Amazon Nimble also acts as a central hub and point for configuration and management for your studio and provides an, a friendly portal for creatives uh, and developers to be able to log in and access your workstations. Now, this Amazon Nimble Studio allows you to seamlessly build your own studio and collaborate with a remote development team around the world, leveraging that AWS global infrastructure. Switching tracks a little bit in the build phase from services, uh, the engine technology choice that game studios make affects everything that you do inside of your studio, all the way through to the output of your game. And that's why AWS is partnering with the Linux Foundation to build the industry's first AAA open source game engine. This engine is Apache 2.0 licensed, which is the most permissible open source license. It means that you can use, modify, and release games with this engine with no royalties and no requirements to contribute back to the foundation. This is an open source AAA game engine with no strings attached. 
and it's fully featured. The Linux Foundation just released our new 22.10 release last week at the O3DE convention, and it has features like a really powerful photorealistic renderer called the Atom Renderer. It's got a great networking stack that's low latency, and of course, it's integrated with AWS, so you can easily uh, provision AWS services directly from the game engine. We've been very lucky when we started this project with the Linux Foundation in July of 2021 to have a ton of great partners help support and build this engine alongside of us. Partners like Adobe, uh, Niantic, and even Epic Games, the makers of the Unreal Engine, are members of the Foundation and contributing to this important project. And we'd always love to have more. So if you'd like to check out the O3D Engine, see if it might be the right choice for your game, you can go to the Linux Foundation's Open3D Engine webpage, and you can also find information there about becoming a partner and helping us build this uh, AAA game engine for the game industry. Uh, another case study that we're going to be able to dive into a little more later when Matthew Wu talks about uh, the architecture of New World is how New World was able to meet an unprecedented, uh, unprecedented amount of customer demand in its first weekend with more than 900,000 concurrent users based on its architecture on top of AWS. I won't steal Matthew's thunder uh, as he's going to come up and give you a lot more detail on this. Uh. Shifting tracks to the run phase, we're going to talk about Amazon GameLift. Amazon GameLift is a managed solution that provides dedicated game server hosting and orchestration. It is, provides low-cost servers, it's highly available, and it's a very flexible solution. You can use it as a fully managed solution, or you can just use the pieces of GameLift that you want to use for your game. An Amazon GameLift can help save you money. Compared to an on-premises deployment where you have to purchase your hardware in advance and have to build out your data center and you have unutilized capacity, GameLift will automatically scale usage up and down as your players join the game and then leave game through peak uh, playing hours. When I say highly available, it's deployed uh, to multiple availability zones around the world and it has automatic cross-region failover. So if something goes wrong in one region, your players will still be able to seamlessly keep playing your game and um, not have an interruption in service. We also offer player and game session management and have a matchmaking service that's built in. But as I said earlier, it's, uh, it's completely flexible. If you'd like to prefer to build your own matchmaking service so that you can make sure that it's doing exactly what you want for your game, you can replace the matchmaker easily and integrate your service to do your own matchmaking with GameLift. So on the um, right-hand side, uh, left-hand side, <laughs> we have GameLift, uh, which can be used fully managed. You integrate it with your backend, upload a build, and then you just deploy it around the world, and you'll be off and running with dedicated servers. This a uh, managed version of GameLift supports on-demand instances as well as EC2 spot, which can dramatically reduce the amount of cost of your um, instances. But you can also use pieces like Amazon GameLift Fleet IQ. This will just allow you to use player session management while bringing your own services and tools to manage these instances that you provide. And we still give you access to the, game, uh, the, e the EC2 GameLift spot availability um, algorithm that we use to detect where and when instances are going to be good candidates for game workloads. We've been lucky to work with Ubisoft for years, and uh, when we launched For Honor, uh, they used the GameLift Fleet IQ with our spot instances. Spot instances help you uh, use some of the capacity of EC2, uh, but they have a risk of interruption. So we've spent a lot of time developing an algorithm that lets us predict when those interruptions might occur and make sure we're choosing the right instances to place your game sessions to avoid that. In this case, with For Honor, we were able to give them all the cost savings of Spot, but we also made sure that they had less than one session out of every one million game sessions that they hosted with us interrupted um, for this um, a great outcome for them, both for a price and performance for their game. In the growth phase, I really want to focus in on two key solution areas that we're focused on in AWS for games. The first is game analytics. 
In today's day and age, you need to know what's going on in your game. You have to know what your players are doing to make sure they're getting the right experience and that you're extracting the right amount of value from your um, investments. For game analytics, we help you ingest data at scale and have solution guidance to help you use a data lake architecture on top of AWS to do the analysis of that data. We have an easy to deploy template that will provision the necessary services into your account uh, that is available today um, for, through the AWS for Games solution framework. The other area that we really are focused on to helping developers is figuring out new ways to use artificial intelligence and machine learning for games. This is a powerful emergent technology, and we have many ways that we can do this uh, with you. We have free online training if you just want to learn about the capabilities of AI and ML. We offer in-person training as well that can go a little bit deeper. And we also have the ability to conduct workshops for you, with you for your specific game to be able to identify the best use cases for AI and ML. And as I said earlier in my um, talk, we have professional services. They can be working with your studio to build a full end-to-end -end solution so that you um, can get AI ML capabilities into your game with no expertise required. AWS offers the broadest set of services and capabilities for AI and ML of any cloud provider, and we offer those to game developers with, with absolutely no AI and ML experience required. Another case study that we have uh, from Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds, uh, talks about how they were able to really understand the playability of their game by using AI and ML um, throughout their development and accelerate how they brought their games to market. You, again, you can use the QR code here at the top of the screen. I'll give you a second to do that if you're interested. Um, or to learn more about all the services that I talked about, some of the solution guidance that we provide, or to dive deeper into those case studies, you can come find all of this information along with access to the AWS for Game Solution framework at aws.amazon.com slash gametech. It's been great to be here. I'm really excited to learn more about how we can support you um, in your journey to the cloud from the AWS team. Thank you.